Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You're far too kind. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to What Does YOLO Mean to You? We are streaming live on our social media platforms, uh, YOLO TV series on YouTube. You should tell your friends, anybody who couldn't be here, this is your chance to watch us live from the Accra Tourist Information Center. My name is Chief, and um, today, today's event is going to be pretty much straightforward. We are going to understand the essence of what this show that has touched so many lives means to us. So, Farmhouse Productions and its partners has put together this event to usher in a show which shall be with you soon. But before we go on, when I say YOLO, what would you say? YOLO! YOLO! I told you. I wish I had Drogba here and a certain Aaron who played Cyril because they know how to chant this better. So on the count of three, we are going to say it like we say it in the TV series. All right? Are you ready? Are you ready? YOLO! I wish you could say that in Pigeon. Anyway, thank you so much for your audience. Um, we are going to take a quick breather. But nobody is going out for oxygen. It's going to be in the form of a documentary. So if everything is set, shall we have the documentary? Where's my baby? You only live once, baby. You can chill 300 times. And action. YOLO for me means that we are building the children up instead of mending broken men. The project started in November 2014 with the purpose of making health promotion exciting again. Everybody can identify with the characters in YOLO and we also appreciate that human beings want to belong. And so if we are internalizing the good characters that we want the adolescent to uptake, then we are building that snowball, that synergy to transform the community the way we want it to be transformed. Yes! Because YOLO is such a popular program with engaging characters, including youth and their parents, it has wide appeal. Communicate for Health supports the Ghana Health Service Good Life, Live It Well campaign that encourages people of all life stages, including the youth, to make healthier choices and living an everyday thing. The campaign's social media hashtag. You actually only live once. The advantages you get from watching YOLO would impact the next generation. Even draw more people into our fold. Um, look out, you may never know. You may also have the opportunity to be in my shoes and, and be even better than me. And so just learn while you're watching and be entertained as well. You only live once and make it count for yourself and for others. Good life, live it well. Good life is an everyday thing. YOLO. 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 You only live once. One. Girls be our problem. So we for think twice. See, the girls distract the makeup like you. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, basically, this is put together by our partners who employed Farmhouse Productions to, you know, do this wonderful edutainment project to bring so much to young people in Ghana. So, to have the platform, and I'm going to tell you who these partners are. We have the USAID, can we put our hands together for them? <laughs> All right. We have the Ghana Health Service, can we put our hands together for them as well? <laughs> great, great, great. We have the National Population Council, let's do it for them as well. We have the Ghana Education Service, Ghana Education Service. We have the National Youth Authority. National Youth Authority as well. And we have UNICEF as well. 
And finally, we have Breakthrough for Action as our final partners. Shall I put our hands together for them? Okay. So, we shall acknowledge them from time to time because they have done us a great service by employing Farmers Productions to put together this informative, educative project. All right. So, uh, up next, if the rep for the National Population Council is here, if Dr. Leticia Adelaide appears rep is here, we shall have them here. All right, all right, so, okay. Good afternoon, everybody. And welcome to the 2021 launch of What Does YOLO Mean to You? We're happy to have you here, and my name is Sylvester Segbaya. I'm the Chief of Party for Breakthrough Action, and I just want to acknowledge the great role that everybody has played in bringing this program together this, this very afternoon. Um, just to give a little background to what does YOLO mean to me. So first of all, in 2019, USAID supported um, YOLO Seasons 5 and 6, and YOLO Season 5, which is a, a TV drama serial that focuses on the challenges that confront youth and adolescents in Ghana. The TV serial focused on topics including sexual harassment, teacher-student relationship, rape, menstruation, cyberbullying, alcohol, drugs, and a lot more. Now, when this series ended, we could clearly see that the followership was great, the demand was high, and there was obviously a, a big cry for YOLO season six. To bridge the gap as we wait for YOLO season six, USCID mandated breakthrough action to roll out a, a TV serial that shares the experiences of young people on what they benefited, what lessons they have learned, how they're going to apply it, and how that has transformed their lives. So this afternoon, we're here to just look at the intro to what does YOLO mean to me. And without much ado, I want to say a big thank you once again to all of you, including our online audience. You're all welcome to the launch. Stay put. I believe you're going to enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your speech, Mr. Sylvester Segbanya, Chief of Party Breakthrough Africa. I mean, breakthrough action. Breakthrough action. Forgive me. So up next, we shall move to uh, my very own friend, who I've known for a long time. We shall invite Mr. Onadati to come and give us a speech. So if you're here, shall we put our hands together for Mr. Onadati? Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Aaron Adachi, and um, I've been a part of the YOLO journey for the past six years. And before then, I was just someone who has acted for the past four years, and I was waiting for another opportunity, and then YOLO came my way. People used to tag me with, okay, this guy's on TV, this guy's on TV. But after YOLO, people were tagging me with a different thing. People actually walk up to me and are able to discuss issues with me. So I realized that the responsibility was great. What am I trying to say? What I'm saying is over the past six years, YOLO has given us a different dimension of responsibility. We have all been, we have been through some form of training that has helped us in our personal lives and has also helped us, has also given us some knowledge that we can share with other people. We have youth, we have young people who walk up to us Sometimes they share their issues with us. They ask us questions, hoping that we are able to give them the response they need. Some of them just want to walk up to you because they've seen you on TV and then they want to talk to you. In the long run, they're able to open up to you. So as I said, this has given us a different um, dimension of responsibility where we are able to sit one-on-one -on -one with people who are going through different challenges and then help them find their resolution. And yes, this was as a result of the kind of workshops that the sponsors put together for us. We did a couple of workshops and then, um, yeah. That, that, that has been the journey so far. So, YOLO has been a good project. 
we have one, uh, what do you call it, one agenda that we are trying to put across, one message that we are trying to put across. Every, everybody is going to come into the phase where they are going to be sexually active. That's something we don't really talk about, but everybody's going to get into that phase. So we need to find the right measures, the right um, things to put in place so that we're not going to make mistakes that people we know have made. So, yes, as I said, over the past six years, it's been a good journey. We are hoping that the message you're trying to put across is going to be strengthened and that we are going to have a positive result at the end of the day. YOLO! Thank you. Wow. So in the six years, time flies when you're having fun, right? Anyway, thank you to our sponsors, USAID, Ghana Health Service, National Population Council, Ghana Education Service, the National Youth Authority, UNICEF, and Breakthrough Action. Also, we'd like to acknowledge the presence of certain dignitaries. Mr. Sylvester Segbanya is the Chief of Party for Breakthrough Action. Shall we put our hands together for him? Uh, Dr. Kofi Isa is the Director of Family Health Division, Ghana Health Service. Shall you give us a wave? Thank you. And we have Mr. Edward Adimazoya, who is the Deputy COP for Breakthrough Action. All right. Thank you so much for coming. Up next, wow. Up next, we have a dignified personality who is going to give us her message. We have the message for, we have messages of goodwill actually, from Her Excellency Stephanie Sullivan. Okay, so she actually recorded a video for us we taped her, and we are going to play it for your viewing pleasure. Is it, is it ready? Hello. Especially the National Population Council, the Ghana Health Service, and their media partners for their leadership in making adolescent health a priority. The United States is proud of our partnership with the government of Ghana and Farmhouse Productions to produce YOLO seasons three, four, and five. The active participation and leadership of youth in society are vital to a country's development. We know the challenges such as youth unemployment and teenage pregnancy that impede the needed participation of young people. YOLO tackles these important issues in real, frank, and open discussions. What Does YOLO Mean to Me series is our response to a message we heard loud and clear. You need more of YOLO! This series includes clips from previous YOLO episodes and interviews with YOLO fan director and six, count them, six Best Actor Actress Award. However, the greatest gift YOLO characters have given to youth in Ghana and across the world is their example of healthy and positive living. They're overcoming trials with resilience and grit and their consistent optimism despite obstacles. The YOLO actors are both world-renowned stars and role models who have entered the households of all Ghanaian youth. To Ghana's young people, I know the pandemic has been particularly difficult for you. You haven't been able to socialize in person with your friends. Some of you may not have had access to key services during the periods of lockdown and social isolation. Yet you've persevered and learned to adapt. Keep making smart choices choosing the right relationships, showing respect and integrity both offline and online, and believing in yourself and your future. After all, you only live once. Good life, live it well. Thank you. I'd like to say a resounding Aiko for the impressive awards the YOLO series and its actors have won in recent years, including a life-changing award for positive influence on youth by the University of Cape Coast and the 2016 Ghana Movie Awards for best serial drama during the periods of lockdown and social isolation. Yet you've persevered and learned to adapt. Keep making smart who have entered the households of all Ghanaian youth. To Ghana's young people, I know the pandemic has been particularly difficult for you. You haven't been able to socialize in person with your friends. Some of you may not have had access to key services during the periods of lockdown and social isolation. Yet you've persevered and learned to adapt. Keep making smart choices, choosing the right relationships, showing respect and integrity both offline and online, and believing in yourself and your future. After all, 
You only live once. Good life, live it well. Thank you. Good life. YOLO. Thank you so much to Her Excellency Stephanie Sullivan, U.S. Ambassador. Up next on our list is short videos from previous seasons of YOLO. Do enjoy. Have a great little time, so know that. But that's all in a when I'm watching a good movie like this. So it is understandable, right? Oh, Dad, I thought... Emily, go and help your mother in the kitchen or something. Let me get to know your friend properly. But Dad, how come you never have this problem when my female friends come around? Because the male ones keep avoiding me. <laughs> but they come when I'm not around, don't they? So, I'll be in the kitchen helping my mom, okay? My dad is a very nice man, as you can see, so don't worry. He only shake you small. I'll see you. I want to know what happened. What really happened? Anyway, I'll find out soon. Thank you for tuning in. We are streaming live on our social media platforms, YOLO TV series across everywhere, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. We also want to acknowledge our viewers at home, those who couldn't be with us uh, due to COVID-19, but those outside Ghana as well, our partners at the US Embassy. Thank you for tuning in. Our partners at UNICEF as well. Our partners at Brick. Breakthrough Action in the U.S. who are kindly watching. Thank you so much. We appreciate you very much. Uh, you can also share the links. Our media partners actually in this building. Thank you as well. Share the links. Let people watch and let them know what we are doing for the youth of Ghana and beyond. Also, right now we have the rep of Dr. Leticia Adelaide Pia from the National Population Council. Mrs. Mary J.C., who is the Programs Officer for NPC, to give us a message. Put your hands together for her as she comes. Her Excellency, Mrs. Sul uh, Stephanie Sullivan, Director of FAG Ghana Health Service. Ladies and gentlemen, and then the media, I bring you warm greetings from the National Population Council. On behalf of the Executive Director of the National Population Council, <coughs> Dr. Leticia Pia. So I bring you warm greetings from the Director of the, the Executive Director of the National Population Council. YOLO is a it's an advocacy on the media. It's a media advocacy which seeks to assist the adolescent to identify their, their focus in realizing the adolescent reproductive health rights and full potential, which also contributes to the Ghana Beyond Age and then the 2030 Global Agenda. 
It's a program which offers a continuum of care for, ad for the adolescent that is filling the gaps they need to transit from adolescent to adulthood. YOLO, as we all know, means you only live once. And this should guide the adolescent in the choices they make. The choices will help them, will help the vision of the National Population Council, which is quality life for all. And YOLO will help them also make choices in their reproductive health. YOLO, as we all know, will help the adolescent to make informed choices concerning um, their reproductive health life. And it will also help Ghana to curb or bring out or lower, bring a low mortality and maternal and child health maternal and child mortality. It will also reduce HIV AIDS and other STIs, and then other malaria, and then other communicable and non-communicable diseases. The National Population Council is urging all the adolescents that they watch this series that is coming up, line up for them, and take a particular interest in them. We are also saying that uh, all key stakeholders should come and support us to engage in this YOLO program to help the adolescents. Long live YOLO, long live Ghana. Thank you. Long live Viola, long live Ghana. That was special. Shall we put our hands together for her? All right, up next we have short videos from pre previous seasons of YOLO. I think he's a guy from my area. Yeah. He's been worrying me he wants to go out with me. Hey, look man, what is it? Mm -hmm. Why are you harassing my girl? Yeah. Ah. Harassing you, your girl. Ah. Look man, she said she doesn't want you, so yeah. just leave, just walk away. Yeah. Why are you harassing her? Why are you harassing me? You lucky this damn bronze, like you'll be dead already. You have a dead by now. Yeah. Bullets in your head already. Mm -hmm. Bullets in your head Bro, if you know what's good for you, if you know what's good for you, yeah. just stand around and leave before I knock you out. Gonna follow my girl? Do you even have a passport? See them? Uh, I see. So this be the return of Santasi Nikki Minaj the who? To Laku 50 Cent. This be proper match made in heaven. You two they deserve each other. Yeah, girl, SKK girl. Have a times and all that. But Yeah, just like you, sometimes I wonder to. Anyway, I had the last laugh. All right, so um, up next, we shall invite the director of Family Health Division to give us his keynote address. Uh, in keeping with protocol, they say YOLO. Yellow. You only live once. Uh, normally, when you are asked to give a keynote, no, 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 please. Okay. You see, this mic 
after the several speakers is full of microbes here. Please don't risk removing your mask. Because if you mistakenly touch this mic, um, it will be yellow, but it will cover it. Um, normally, when it reaches the keynote address, it becomes really very difficult. There are two things in functions which are always very difficult, being the keynote speaker or the chairman. So you are left to summarize what all the specialists have said. So you forgive me if I repeat some of the things people have said. So uh, I will stand on the existing protocols as is uh, what characteristics of this country, but especially mention the, Her Excellency the U.S. Ambassador, the Executive Director, Population Council, National Population Council, the Chief of Party and Deputy Chief of Party of Breakthrough Action, all our other partners, USAID, GES, National Youth Authority. Um, we are making or uh, holding this event in the midst of the COVID pandemic, and there's no need repeating what havoc the pandemic has created, especially to the lives of our youth and adolescents who soon will be in the prime of their lives. Now, as this launch of this series takes place, is to an audience which will act as advocates not only to their peers, but to the thousands of families of communities who hitherto have never been part of this series. This country, just like any other country in Africa and the world, is changing. What, well, the scientists will call demographics is changing. People are moving from the villages into the cities in search of work. And the economic situation keeps changing. The diseases also keep changing. Years ago, as we worked in Kolebu, it was just the pensioners who came down with stroke. But these days, you will be very surprised to see 24, 25 year olds coming with very serious cases of hypertension, diabetes, and all that. Nutrition is changing also. So it becomes very necessary that the country invest in the youth and adolescents. And this is very, very important when it is through behavior change, communication, and social change uh, of our behavior. I'm reliably informed that uh, this series will last from January to June, and is to bridge the gap between, uh, is it series five? And then the next uh, uh, program, which is expected to start by August 2021. Various speakers have talked on the subjects on which these short videos will touch. But then, as a key stakeholder in the Family Health Division of the Ghana Health Service, it is very, very necessary we join other stakeholders to make sure that we support the government's efforts in social and behavior change communication. And these topics will range I've seen mostly the reproductive health videos. Uh, I hope that the next set of videos will be on other topics like alcoholism and all that. Or maybe, because I'm a, an alcoholic, maybe you have chosen not to show that. Anyway, I'm joking. Just leave it in this room. <laughs> but then, um, as we do this, there's always the part where there's something called research monitoring and evaluation. And it's not only the big kind of PhD thesis type of research, but something in which our adolescents, the youth, can be able to give real feedback, because they are real, real life situations, to be able to feed into the next group of uh, episodes. As we launch, I encourage all of us, well, uh, count me as one, Ambassador, because uh, as I normally was in the house, anytime I wanted to watch some colonial movie, then my sons also didn't want to watch this. So there was always this whole battle. But at least I'm now an advocate, so at least they've won me over 
if the series starts, I'll be one of the first to watch. And then I'll let Sylvester and Co know that I've been watching. So let me actually, uh, at the end, express gratitude. Farmhouse Productions, that's really very lovely, at least. I think and there's no hitch as I watch to go. I'm a very big critic. Yeah, and then this is oh, there's no internet, and then there's nothing there, but at least that has been lovely. And then, oh, let's give them a very big hand. And then the chief of party and deputy chief of party, I have known them in different settings. Not the biblical knowing, but professionally, I have worked with them in different settings. And that is something that I would have to express our sincere gratitude to them and their staff, to National Population Council, to the Ghana Education Service, to the National Youth Authority, and all others, not forgetting UNICEF. In fact, I, I have always, uh, uh, it is here, since 94. In this in second sentence we write is UNICEF because they have been supporting all the programs in which I have worked in as a medical officer and now director of family health. Let me, in conclusion, say this is quite an event which is directed towards a very important segment of our society. Not only should we leave it to them alone to contribute their quota in behavior change for our nation, but that um, the youth and the adolescents are the fulcrum around which the society revolves. And once there is an intervention such as this, it is for all of us to join hands to be able to make sure that it succeeds for the betterment of all our lives in the socio-economic development of Madagana. Thank you very much. God bless us all. Yolo. Yolo. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Kofi Issa of the Ghana Health Service Family Health Division. Let's not forget we, we still live in a pandemic and we should always wear our mask wherever we are. Apologies for not wearing it earlier. But we would like to acknowledge our sponsors. We have the USAID, we have the Ghana Health Service, we have the National Population Council, Ghana Education Service, Nat National Youth Authority, we have the UNICEF and we have Breakthrough for Action. Shall we put our hands together for them? And also, one of our most important stakeholders, you the audience at home, please do watch, tune in, share across social media, YOLO TV series. This is the big moment, actually. We are going to show you the launch video, what we've been talking about, everything. This is like the climax before, you know, we leave here. So if our video is ready, this is, what does YOLO mean to me? You only live once, baby. You can chill 300 times and have a billion times and all that. But that's all in a lifetime. Hello and welcome to What Does Yolo Mean to Me? Brand new adolescent sexual reproductive health program. My name is Quinta Nefi, popularly known as Emily. Jason Edwards, aka Psycho, aka Since the 80s. Nana Mampofa, and I'm known in Yolo as Ariana. Kevin Brun, and I play the role of Mark Anthony in Yolo. Lolo Likwashiga, you know me as Anne. Ivan Duma, I play the role of a brand here. Here on What Does Yolo Mean to Me, we get to meet you, the fans, to discuss what Yolo TV series means to you as an individual and the impact that you. TVCR has had on your life, as well as touch on a few adolescent sexual reproductive health issues which were highlighted. This is to help you live your good life and live it well. What do you do when a teacher tries to get close to you in an inappropriate manner? When a teacher gets close to me in an inappropriate way, I will report him so that he will be sacked from the school. Sarah. Yeah, yes. Please tell me you miss me. I won't bother you again. Charlie, 
This looks crazy. How about some of the pupils trying to woo the teachers? Okay, so this is the stage where the teacher has to act mature, not to mix business with pleasure. He has to tell the students um, what to do and create a boundary so the students don't cross their lines. Because if something happens between the teacher and the students, the blame wouldn't be placed on the student, but rather the teacher. Those are some thought-provoking points. What do you also think? Nicholas and I don't have sex. Hmm? Yeah, it's true. You can ask him. Do you also think that once you've had sex, it becomes difficult to abstain? It will be hard to abstain because you get tempted to do it again. If you can't abstain, what do you do? If you cannot abstain, you sleep. And if you can't sleep, use condoms. It's that simple. Don't be shy. Just go to the pharmacist and then tell the person you are good to go. Well, you've heard what they have to say. What are your thoughts on the topics discussed so far? Did they see what up? Why they play football match? Eh? Boy, boy, I guess some bad infection. <laughs> you know, say you get for no that. Huh? Eh? You know they come, eh? You know they go. Oh, my Lord. What is unprotected sex? Unprotected sex is the act of indulging in sexual activities without any form of protection. What should you do? when you have unprotected sex. When you have unprotected sex, you should visit the nearby hospital for a checkup. Mm. When you have unprotected sex, you can speak to somebody you trust for guidance. Those are some interesting comments there. What is your take on the topics discussed today? You said there was something you wanted to tell me. Yeah, about the party. Show me, I want advice you say. Yeah, make you take only soft drinks, that's all. Because alcohol, it be dangerous. Yeah? It will feel make you do something where you go to regret self. I hear that. I'll, I'll be very careful. How do we relate to our parents? So with the impact of YOLO, I have a very good and yes relationship with my parents. The relationship I have with my parents is in the way that things that I keep as a secret from my friends is being open to them. I can discuss about my personal issue with my mom, my relationship with my mom, but my dad, a slap from heaven will come. I don't want to rush into another relationship like our first date. So, do you prefer we start off as friends? Okay, that would be good in order to know ourselves more better. Do you think a boy and a girl can be friends? It's a yes for a boy and a girl to have a relationship. That is friends. Because me, myself, I have a guy as a best friend. Um, this time around, in this era, girl-boy relationship, um, nope. It's not a good idea. How can we draw the line to ensure we do not make mistakes? I think we can draw the line by being socially Distance. So to avoid mistakes as friends, you avoid flirting. A girl must not come to your room alone. Or don't let her or him be touching you in some kind of a sexual way and something that will bring up sex. When you are texting on social media, you shouldn't bring those sex chats as in this era days. A lot of people like everything now like sex. It's all about sex, sex, sex everywhere. Do you agree? that a good relationship between a parent and a child can help in building a child confidence and make them more assertive? How does it influence the choices they make? Why do you need an extra part? Yeah, well, there's this girl in Anne's dorm and she's having her period. She doesn't know how to tell her parents about it, so I'm just helping her out. <sighs> period is not anything to be shy of. It's actually something special every girl experiences. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I actually told her. What is menstruation? Menstruation is a monthly discharge of blood from the female reproductive organ. How did you get to know about menstruation? I got to know about menstruation at school. My mom taught me about it at home. And also I watched it in Yolo season 5. What do you do when you're menstruating? When I'm menstruating, I I keep myself neat. I take my bath twice a day. I make sure I change my path regularly. I drink a lot of water and I take a banana. What do you know about menstrual hygiene? Menstrual hygiene is practiced by the females to protect themselves from infection. Do you think it's important for girls to get the right information about menstruation before they reach their puberty? I think women should get the right information about menstruation before they get to puberty. Because if you don't know anything about menstruation and you get to that stage, it's very, very difficult and complicating for you to change your things and how to dress, how to move around. Those are some interesting comments. What do you also think? Do you know where dreams? You go in the door for a year. Don't you have a girl in your class that you, you, you love? The one where you sit for your side. See him. I call upon it. See him. Bad man. Bad man. But if you know more. See, every guy, by the time you catch like Nana Kwame, you start the girl for me, give sure. So what is a wet dream? Chai. 
Charlie. That's just when you are thinking about the opposite sex and wet dream usually happens in boys. That's what I know. Wet dreams is when a guy ejaculates during his sleep um, to release pems. Um, yeah. So have you heard about any myths or misconceptions about wet dreams? Yeah, I heard that when a guy has wet dreams, his pens can shrink. Not precisely. Actually, I've heard a lot on social media, from family, from friends, and from peers too. What I heard was, when you have a wet dreams, you actually die on your man who shrinks. I read about that too, and I heard it wasn't true. I beg, you get a cocktail song for day. Yeah. You know what I talk about? Yeah, I beg, give me one shot. Now see, I beg, give me three shots. A job day. Hey, Charlie, boys, be the wine. Huh? What that? See. The way Pearl in action day today, as you see the match set. So I could prepare my body. The back. Really? Oh, see, bro, see, this body, eh? it be killed or be killed. And I'm here to kill. What are drugs? Drugs are substances taken into the body to alter the body's functions. Drugs. From what I know are substances, when taken into the body, causes physical and mental harm anyone that takes in drugs. So do you think alcohol and drugs are a common thing among the youth these days? Yes. It's actually a common thing among the youth, yes. Nowadays, the youth like to get involved in these drugs and alcohol, which I feel like safe is a really bad thing because it has, it's starting to get this kind of effect on them, which I think is not really good. How can adolescents get help when they become dependent on alcohol and drugs? When adolescents become dependent on alcohol or drugs, the best thing is to go for therapy or counseling. So those are some interesting comments there. What is your take on the topic discussed today? So. Make a date. It's going to be really interesting, so be sure not to miss out. Remember to live a good life. Good life. Live it well. Good life, it's an everyday thing. YOLO, you only live once. Good life, so we for think twice. We can do better, ladies and gentlemen. So that's it. This is what... This is, this is what does YOLO mean to me. It's a... This is what does YOLO mean to me. It's a 13 episode series which will start this Friday from 3 p.m. And by the advent of UNICEF, we shall have more episodes for you. It's basically YOLO stars meeting their fans and discussing the pertinent issues that has been on the show for the past six years. So you can imagine a lot of content, a lot of, you know, coming of age questions and a lot of maneuvering here and there positive maneuvering and a lot of bluntness actually so i've seen it i've seen some and today we put together like we we we, we munched you know pieces bits and pieces of the 13 episodes for you but you can get it each and every friday at 3 p.m on farmhouse i mean on yolo tv series on youtube we shall remind you every friday to watch it you should make a date with us till we actually put together the season six for you. So, shall we put our hands together to, I mean, for what does yellow mean to you? Yeah. And this wouldn't be possible without the magnanimity of our sponsors, our partners, the people who go to bed and think about the future of the kids of today. That's the USA of this world, the Ghana Health Service, the National Population Council, the Ghana Education Service, the National Youth Authority, UNICEF, and Breakthrough Action. Shall we put our hands together for them as well? All right. So we've been having comments and questions from all over the world. You know, we've had people viewing from the four corners of the world, from the favelas of Brazil, to the pyramids of Giza, to the kangaroos of Australia. And I'm going to read some of the comments for you. And also in our own backyard, Nigeria. Shouts to Nigeria. They've been, they've been wonderful. You can ask Aaron. They DM him all the time. Don't they DM you, our Nigerian fans? All right. Okay, so uh, some comments. Oh, okay. So this, this person's name is Times 2. Times 2 
It says, indicate where you are watching this from. Me, Nigeria. So he's watching this from Nigeria. We have Tefilosophori asking, when, when are you bringing Yolo season six? That's, that's a question I've been asked for a year now. So when we know, we'll tell you. We have Belinda Day saying, wow, you know, she actually likes it. We have Adeyemi Isaac telling us she's, he's watching from Nigeria. Little Pinocchio says he's really enjoying this. And we have a lot of hearts from Kofi Adino. Uh, we, have, we, have, we have someone saying, drop season six. I can't wait. Me too. Uh, we have Amadepa Lottie screaming YOLO. There's a lot of YOLO chants, a lot of them. We hear your cry and we'll see how best we can answer them. So we have questions. This is the time to ask your questions. We have questions from our media partners. That's Kobi Che. Kobi Che. All right. Thank you. Can I say it or stand? Sorry? <laughs> can I stand or sit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand. I mean, it's, it's better if I'm, you I'm stand. asking because of the cameras. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So um, I think this is a very beautiful initiative. And I remember when my junior sister was going to senior school, just, I think last week, and I was trying to have a conversation with her in regards to how she can take care of herself. And throughout the conversation, she was mentioning YOLO. I mean, she being able to, I mean, get some education from YOLO. And I felt that you guys have really created a big impact. Now, my question is that, <laughs> apart from creating the impact, another significant role it's you guys trying to reach whoever needs this content. And it is very difficult. I mean, during the lockdown, I was able to go to some villages to share some items. And just around Pram Pram, the research or what I got told was the fact that most of the teenagers or the girls have gotten pregnant during the lockdown. And they are not getting access to watching this beautiful content. Now, my question is that how are you guys taking this content. I mean, in the villages, I mean, it would be very hard for them to get access to the internet and also watch watching TV. So they also need this content the most. How are you getting this content to the rural areas? That is one. And if I can suggest that, I mean, those days, I remember when we were kids, we used to have uh, community centers where people would come and showcase content to us. Content that, I mean, I relate to like this nature. So if you guys can actually go to the communities down, down there. Most of the community, they have centers. So if you can go there to go and show some of this content, and I think that will go a long way, not just to benefit those in the I mean, urban areas, but in the rural areas. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, we shall have Mr. Edward Adimazoya, who's the Deputy COP Breakthrough Action, to answer the question. Thank you very much. I think um, it is heartwarming, I mean, to know that YOLO is appreciated by the youth, and that is a very good testimony, and that is what this program is intended to achieve. Um, you've asked a very strategic question, and um, I'll take the first one first, which has to do with how can we get this to the youth in the rural areas. So I'd like to say that um, USAID is collaborating with UNICEF, to air the series on GTV. And our expectation is that maybe uh, people in the rural areas would have access to GTV because it is nationwide. The second thing is that um, we are encouraging the youth to also visit the adolescent health corners that are in the various health facilities for additional information. Um, on this aspect of actually getting the information to the rural areas, we will need to brainstorm and find out what additional channels are available that we can, you know, disseminate YOLO in the rural areas because we also like them to experience what YOLO is. Um, I think the other question had to do with um, when season six is coming. I know it is something that everybody is looking up to. We are also looking up to it. But we will not be able to say at this point when season six will come. But we pray that 
Season 6 will definitely come. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Doc. Okay. All right. Well, just to add that um, between June and December last year, we actually put out the audio versions of YOLO Season 5 um, in the northern part of Ghana. So for the first time, we made it accessible to those who could not have access to internet, those who do not readily have access to television and different social media platforms. We will actually write on the back of your question to explore new channels. Let's see how we can get to every village, every community, using the easiest channel of communication to just give them access to this content. And we know that this is really transforming lives. So thank you very much for the question. Thank you. Thank you very much for your answer. The floor is still open. If you have questions, you should ask us. We actually everywhere. So wherever you are tuned in, you could ask us any question. I mean, the most asked question is when season six is coming, but we can't give you a definite answer now. So if, so if that's it, then we are still calling for more questions. More questions. I shall read the comments then if the questions are stolen. Well, these are, these are comments about George. So I find it quite a bit. Well, somebody's saying he's amazing and he's going to be the president of Ghana. Well, I don't doubt that. Anyway, we are still waiting for questions. Kobe has a follow-up question. Wow. Now, I don't know if you can also, I don't know if uh, you guys are having a partnership with the GES. Yeah, they are a partnership yeah, with the GES. Yeah, they are, they are, they are uh, one of our prime Great. partners. So I think that when you go to the senior high school, especially with I mean, those in the boarding house, they have TVs at the auditorium and all that. So if you can also send to them. So that every, just like three weeks, because you have 13 episodes. So that, because all of them are always in the auditorium. If you can also play to that thing that would be also a great way to influence them. All right. That's positive. Okay, so we have a comment from Aminata Bantamashaw. She says, YOLO is a very good movie. It teaches adolescents so many good things not only in Ghana, but also us living in another country. We have uh, Imati Music saying, I love YOLO TV series so much. So educative. I'm official Imati watching from Nigeria. So the comments keep coming in. The comments keep coming in. If you just tuned in, this is the launch of what does YOLO mean to me? And we have a question. Hi, my name is Romeo from Accra FM. Okay. Uh, since we have the media presence here, I want to find out if you have any challenges so that we can also help address it and then All find right. solutions together. Okay. okay. If there are any challenges, if there are any challenges. I mean, the yellow, yellow family. If the there's yellow any family. problem that you, you would like to share with the media here oh, so that okay. we also take it upon ourselves. I think it's better I see you in chambers after. <laughs> okay, yeah. thank you. I don't want to... Am I living here right now? My laundry, I mean. So, any last question? Yes. Okay. All right. So, uh, okay, after, after you, sir. So, the media is asking if there are challenges. Um, truly, there are challenges. Um, for the last six months, we've been trying to, you know, discuss ways by which they can also put it on TV. I am sure we have it now. Thank you. Thank you so much. We shall do some few comments and go straight to a video we have for you. Uh, all right. Actually, let's get to the video. Let's get to the video. We shall come back with the comments. You are 
you're pregnant. Have you been giving your body to one of the boys? Do you use condom? Free range, no protection. Okay. Have a great little times and all that. But that's all the little era, era, eh, eh, eh. I'm the umbrella, era, era, eh. I'll go. I'm a sour. 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 I'm a Ah, okay, only so I'm best. Sir, why you were punching him and claim me? I made a brown or do procrastinate more than my man and my wife. Oh, Cassava Prantins, a day Cassava Prantins. They won't teach you any beam. I don't understand. See, me, I told you I don't do anything silly. Hey, nowadays, I'm even afraid to touch a girl. I'm a change guy. Uh -huh. You carry me too. It's very, very, very a uh, scaredings of uh, boys. That is why he's left in this area. Mia doesn't come here again. So, mm. so where do you live now? Mia doesn't told you. Oh, tell me. I won't tell anybody. Trust me. I promise. Eh? It's sure. Oh. His call is from Gideon. Hey, this is a nice thing. What did they do for you? Ah. Why can't we together? What well, was put together for you to see this? And it was by the magnanimity of USAID, Ghana Health Service, National Population Council, Ghana Education Service, National Youth Authority, UNICEF, Breakthrough for Action. Shall we put our hands together for them? We have another question. Yeah, yeah. So we are going to do the vote of thanks. We shall call... We shall call Mr... Wait, let me get it right this time. We shall call Mr. Edward Adimazoya, who is the Deputy COP of Breakthrough Action, to give us the vote of thanks. If you're ready, sir. Shall we put our hands together for him? Director, uh, Family Health, the Chief of Party Breakthrough Action, the Directors of the National Population Council's representative. Um, I want to say that on this day, we should first of all give glory and thanks to God for making this day possible. For the fact that one of the best programs for youth in this country has been launched. We would want to extend the thanks to the USAID, um, Ghana, and the Mission Abroad, the National Population Council, UNICEF, the Ghana Education Service, the National Youth Authority for collaboratively working together with farmhouse productions to produce what does YOLO mean to me. We would also like to take this opportunity to thank the many youth across the country who offered to share their experiences of what YOLO means to them that has formed the content of what does YOLO mean to me. We would like especially to thank the actors and actresses of YOLO who volunteered their time to contribute to the production of what does YOLO mean to me. We also would like to thank the staff especially of Breakthrough Action, the National Population Council, and the Family Health Division of the Ghana Health Service, as well as UNICEF, who diligently went through all the scripts and made sure that the content was relevant to the youth and made sure that the production is accurate. Finally, we want to thank Farmhouse Productions, 
for actually putting in the effort and making sure that the quality of the videos that you see today, it is through their instrumentality and ingenuity. It is our hope that what does YOLO mean to me will affect the lives of many youth, especially in this time of COVID, that they would find it interesting and find it educative and find it engaging, and that will eventually contribute to the overall national development of our dear country. So on this note, I want to say thank you to all those who have come in person to witness the launch of this program. We thank you so much for making the time, despite COVID, you are here. We cannot say anything more than thank you for making this possible. For our viewers, both in Ghana and the US and other countries, we want to thank you for virtually joining this program and making it a success. And may God YOLO. 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 Good life. Live it well. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Edward Edimazoya. We've come to the end of this wonderful event. But before I go, I'd like to remind you that what does YOLO mean to you as every Friday at 3 p.m. on our official YOLO? I mean, what does YOLO mean to me, basically? So it's me and you. So let me say me now. What does YOLO mean to me as every single Friday for the next 13 weeks and more on our official, farm, uh, official YOLO TV series? It shall be on Farmers as well. Okay. Farmers Productions on YouTube. You should tune in. You should play it back. You should share it with your friends. Just make sure you take in this wonderful piece of educational literature we've put together for you. Before I go, I'd like to thank our partners again, USAID, Ghana Health Service, National Population Council, the GES, the NYA, the UNICEF and Breakthrough for Action. This was also put together by the creative vision of Farmhouse Productions as well. Uh, thank you everybody who came here in flesh to support us. Thank you, Mr. Sylvester Sebana of the Breakthrough Action. He's chief of party. Thank you to Dr. Kofi Isa, Director, Family Health Division of the Ghana Health Service. Thank you to Mr. Edward Admazoya, who's the Deputy COP, Breakthrough for Action. Thank you to Dr. Leticia, who sends her rep, Ms. Mary JC, who is, who is the Programs Officer at the National Population Council. Thank you to our partners at the U.S. Embassy, who tuned in live. Thank you to the U.S. Aid, USAID as well, who are tuned in right now.